Good morning, hello my beautiful friends, I hope you're doing good. Let's start by priming our pages with clear gesso. You're gonna ask Marta, but why, why do we need it? It's not that you need it, it's something I like to do because I'm priming, prepping, preparing my pages for, for their work, especially when you decide to add the colors of the mediums, whether it's a paint, a marker, a pencil, especially something that is water-based. Adding a layer of clear gesso, a primer, it's gonna help you out to have your mediums running around happily here on the pages, changing the colors, exchanging, moving around and all. Now, while I chat, I'm gonna just grab a little bit of that um, gray distress paint. I'm gonna just be a little bold in that sense because firstly, I don't use um, this paint directly from the tube like that. So that's one of the out of comfort zone step. Another is that I'm not too sure where and why I'm adding it, which is fine. And another thing is that I didn't dry the first layer. So we shall see what this will give us. And I'm thinking to be bold again and add this color. Now, both of these uh, colors are actually acrylics. Is it? Is this one acrylic? It is acrylic. Yes, I'm cor must be acrylic. I'm correct. I'm going to maybe grab a different, there we go, a different brush. So there we go. It's going to help me out to add this and I'm thinking to add stencil a little bit differently I'll show you what I mean and I'll see if <laughs> if this will if this will work what I'm thinking so I'm hoping to um, place this stencil in here and clean it off with a tissue so we shall see how this is going to be we would need a wet tissue. I have that and let's do a little bit of clean up. Now, do I know what am I doing? No, not necessarily because it's not something I do daily, but I really wanted to have a little bit of a play with the stencil, with the colors and see where this will take us. So, <gasps> Beautiful! I love this tony effect and also because we lift it, you can see this kind of marks. Um, I think this type of art when you're lifting wet paint, there is a name for that I think. Oh, why did I clean that? I could actually easily have this exactly on this side and just oh lovely jovely okay so that's what we have right now i think possibly what would be nice to dry this and have a little bit of a, a look there's some extra paint stuck in there like stone actually <laughs> i'm gonna dry this and come back with the stenciling i i think so yes everything is dry and i'm thinking to add a little bit of that pumice inking on the edges which I think it could be very nice there we go it kind of will I don't know brings everything together sort of thing I like that and I like working that some of the edging is darker than other and I think this is really really nice everything kind of settled right now and I like that I love that you can see um, the peek through of those white even though we have added the ink it does give this peak a little bit I think I'm gonna add a tiny amount of color there so it's not as white at least not for now because maybe I'm gonna change change the mind and I'm thinking to add some of the focal point and I'm thinking oh one of the pink or oh, this pink is gonna be gorgeous it's from the mushroom book, the fungus actually. <laughs> it's actually funny, I called this book fungus because I love all the Latin names, all the um, sometimes Italian, Spanish, I love that. I call it mushroom book even though it's fungus, so <laughs> I'm sorry. I tilt the camera, I think this is going to be so beautiful. Just have a look. Oh yes, it's going to be gorgeous. Oops. Now you can cut this one and save those beautiful like a document document style elements but it's very personal how you would like to approach it. I would love this pinky 
a mushroom to be here without anything but again for junk journaling if you're not into fussy cutting you can cut it with the beautiful background and just glue it down um, the way as it is done originally which is with the sort of like a um, cover of a book or page book page now I apologize you in advance as well for my nose because I am feeling that some infection is about to start <laughs> that's why I also thought you know what jump in in the studio record before <laughs> before it's it's gonna really hit you like which is very much possible because I can sense it and it's Hannah that <laughs> wasn't feeling great and didn't go to um, summer camp yesterday and I'm thinking oh have I hugged her <laughs> so much that maybe something jump onto me now um, uh, I read a comment yesterday saying that oh thank you so much for showing um, and not skipping the fussy cutting part because I can see how easy it is. It is easy if you, go, if you have a good scissors guys. It is really not that difficult. Now it's a cute mushroom. I love how it is. It feels on the background. It has actually you know what I think I'm gonna I thought I'm gonna leave it but no. I, I love how it looks and feels on the background. My only question is is it enough to be here on its own which is which is plenty I think maybe or maybe we could add a little animal I think I found uh, what I like it's in the Animalia volume one and I think I'm gonna grab this little fella I think he could be just <laughs> just right for the project so let's see I definitely need to make cleanup in my studio. Oh, this is so cutie. Cutie, cutie, cutie. Now, I'm going to try to see if I can here as well do a little bit of um a little bit of blending in. I shall see. How I can achieve that with it. But before that, let's see how it looks like uh, with our with our mushroom. That is cute, I have to say. Or I'm just gonna skip it like that. I have to say that I'm not feeling 100% well. Um, today is Thursday, it is. And <laughs> a busy day is ahead of us, but I just have no energy. Uh, one second. You know when you are at the beginning of your uh, viral infection, and your whole head and your nose, everything is just, your whole sinus is there, affected. Cheers, my friends. I think I need a coffee. <laughs> that may help a little bit. Now, let's see. I do like it. However, I have something, like, I do like it because I think it looks gorgeous as in it does match and all. But there was another thing that got my eye and that was a fairy that was here. I'm gonna have a see if she's gonna be any cuter than the than the <laughs> rabbit, the bunny because she could be it and Oh, even this anemone flower could go somewhere close. One second. And if you wonder, this is our bonus page. Bonus page, uh, it, it's not on the first four books, but it's on the next uh, seven books. 
bonus page will show you like the examples of what to expect in the other books. The big bonus of it is that those elements are similar but they never repeated in any of the books so there is no such a fairy. There, if there is an anemone it could be different shade of color, different size, maybe a little different. Same for the other elements. You're not gonna have the repeated element which is super important to me. To offer it. Oh, I love that. I think you know, sometimes you just have to have check it up and then have a maybe slightly better feel for something else, you know, and that's okay if you have a feel for something else. That's probably the, the, the best part as well to check it out. That's how you learn what would you like to add and why. And I do for me, the super important is the colors, of course and the sizes of the elements, the composition, how they land together and all. So really, mm, before adding it up, it may be even hard to say, uh, and it could be just super, just to, just to uh, check it out. So, but to check it out, you have to kind of already, uh, I guess, you have to, um, what you call that? Fussy cut it, place it, and see where this belongs to, like, you know, if it's good or not. There you go. I just had to turn off my phone because I was getting tons of messages today. Uh, so I said to Lucas, Lucas, I hope you are on because if our families or anything, our school is looking for us because I said I need to focus and have clean mind, clear mind, even though... <coughs> I'm not feeling myself 100%. I thought I need no <laughs> messages, no emails right now while I chat to you <clears throat> and enjoy this. Um, excuse my voice, guys. As I say, <laughs> this is starting to feel like there is going to be quite an affection. I love it. I think it's so cute. You see, there's something like, even without it, I, th I think with it, it would be too much. No. But look the difference. And I think it's the color plus maybe the fill, filling of the page altogether. So here is that and here is that. And both are good, but there is something. Mm -hmm. I think there is something that just matches with it better. So I think it's good to to, to, to check it, to try it out, to see, to, you know, to, to give it a chance. Um, I'm thinking as well, we haven't done much stamping. So I'm gonna grab my stamping box with my stamps because I haven't used them forever. <clears throat> and it's nice to have that chance, so. Oh, I forgot I have those amazing words. Imagine and encourage in the set, in the set with the flower. Encourage flower stamp set, I think it's, oh yes, it's this one. Sorry. <laughs> It's this one. You can't see. <laughs> oh, silly Marta. Let me just turn this around. There you go. So it's hand drawn by me, flower and the words. And my favorite font of all. Uh, those are in our store if you're curious to check it out. And I'm gonna have a look if there's any other stamp that could be. I, I love the words. They're just so perfect. They will match up to every project, really, if you think about it. And maybe the, maybe a little bit of those, yes. I'm thinking, I'm gonna put these aside. This roughly like that. But I th wouldn't that be nice to have a little bubble here and bubble there? I think so. I could probably do that when this is already glued down, right? I'd say I can. So let's just grab these two friends. Oops, that's a paint. <laughs> I'm really not, um, prepared today because I just feel myself not being prepared. I hope you can forgive me that. I, I'd say it's so important to be uh, than worry about how <laughs> unprofessionally maybe I sound today. But I also really like there is a lot of work, you know, and I miss being just in the studio to even have the time to tidy up because you have to juggle the time and that there's so many amazing comments as well and the new books, the Christmas one, the Christmas fairies and the industrial little personas they have been taking 
so amazing that I'm just, I'm gobsmacked. I still wait for mine. What date is today? I ha I'm gonna have mine in five days. Would you believe it? And I said it to Lucas. This is, this is, shouldn't be like that. And he goes, Marta, it's actually quite funny. And changing this now in, he said, are you sure? Because it's nearly part of how it is. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, in a way, but I still wish to have my my things here uh, sooner than later. <laughs> so he goes, don't worry, we'll get there. So I see so many people already making gorgeousness projects and makes my heart smile. I'm not jealous at all, seriously. I'm totally happy for everyone who got their books so soon. And that's so good because I can enjoy your shares and that's super awesome. Now, a layer of clear gesso just to <laughs> have it, just to have it guys, just to have it, a layer of clear gesso, especially where the grooves are, not the grooves but the kind of endings of the paper so that we have primed the image and I'm gonna do a little bit of shading I hope now that's gorgeousness we need to dry this it is a five minute project if you think about it and definitely five supplies i'd say let's dry this let's do a little bit of bubbles i'm thinking i'm gonna start with um, sort of the biggest or at least how no that's i'm gonna wait with this one because i have this one which it feels maybe less yes that's more delicate I think so so let's have maybe oops <laughs> this one there and you know you could like cover up your thingy and have maybe half of it yeah lovely and now I'm gonna grab a smaller size which is maybe this one hmm super maybe here as well uh-huh and even smaller do we have even smaller well this one hmm maybe instead of this one I'm gonna grab this one. Oh, I love that. One second. I'm back just to what I'm thinking is to add a bit of a tiny something. Maybe I'm gonna add this one here. Uh, I have to say, <laughs> when I'm posing so many times, it's because my nose is not allowing me to. <laughs> be present with you guys I have to pause so forgive me for that okay and the small one as I thought maybe this one that's it I think that's it because I don't I wouldn't like this to be like a hundred percent um I don't know even and fill on fold fold filled oh it's so funny I have another <laughs> I was obviously planning to use this since I have both of these sets out of like these are the same set it's just I had one prepared earlier the, in the last project I think that just never happened <laughs> so obviously I was hoping to use them I'm gonna put this one back on I think the bubbles the circle stand, uh, stamp is so versatile so that's good we have encourage and what else was there oh yes imagine I think imagine Imagine unimaginable. <laughs> I think imagine is gonna is going to be nice for that page. Yes, somewhere there. Is it? Do you know what? I don't think I have ever used this stamp yet. At least, oh lovely. At least it doesn't feel like I have. <laughs> Feels very new. That's okay. Now it's time that we are just adding all of these and using all of these supplies that, um, you know, combining old and new and all, which is great. Okay, time to do 
coloring and I think I'm gonna just go for a gentle um, back color just a little bit to have a little bit of on the left mm, darker shade so that as if the light goes on that side I think that's what we will do, not too much you know like really gentle amount of it's actually funny because there is a shade on that side of the mushroom so and I'm doing opposite <laughs> I think that's okay I didn't notice it but it's fine that's okay imagine you know it's imagine it's not uh, physics <laughs> I was terrible in school from physics and chemistry and all of that oh, terrible like just never had any clue about it seriously I loved art obviously <laughs> I loved art I could do art all day long if I could I couldn't because my parents didn't allow me to be I was chosen by my art teacher in the secondary school to join his club he's like crazy artist club sort of thingy and nope you need to study not art so that was that was it of my dreams of being art artist <sighs> never was I allowed of course years later my mom says I was right and the gut feeling the gut instinct and all is just you follow it so they were proud of what's going on right now that's nice you know I'm thinking that I'm gonna jump in with the white around the inside the bubbles and I think so yes I think I'm gonna just finish off the shading a little bit of the dress to make the make it stand out a little bit more so how many supplies we've got stencil paint stamp paper and oh just is a basic and a color so you know, see five supplies and those are the supplies that are basics honestly basic supplies and a gorgeous page so I think that is great to be able to just focus on energy on some supplies you have and use what you have and very minimal amount of supplies will will get you far because look you can just keep on adding things and just enjoy your project and just pet it even more and add shading and this and that so it's really up to us how far we wish to go with the project I think I'm gonna jump in with that white I'm just not decided about whether I'm gonna use gesso or gesso or acrylic marker or or what <laughs> or what hmm. small surface on the page as well helps you to not feel intimidated really but try to be creative sometimes a big surface you don't know where to start all of that you know just the main thing is to start get yourself some background and then just add a little bit of mm, color add the side for your for your paints and then the side for your elements so really it's that simple <laughs> get yourself a background do you have any fears when making project tell me Did, are you scared still on bl of blank page i used to do this series of blank page would you like me to get back and do it again? How to break a collage blank page sort of thing? Let me know. The more yeses, the more likely I'll do it. Because I really wish to record what you wish to see and enjoy. So here I am asking. <laughs> Let me know. Oh, and by the way, there's already, I think, six reviews on Amazon New Books. 
thank you. You are the best. Like, I, I really mean it. Thank you so much. Now I'm thinking to maybe add this cream instead of white. I think it could be really nice to have a touch of cream paint rather than touch of white paint, because it will be just nice and nice and delicate, and also in the color sort of thing, you know. And the uh, it will stand out, but it's not going to be this. Oh, look. That's nice with the finger. So it's not as, I don't know, elevated. It's not standing out that much. It does stand out, but not as much. It's, I think I've changed over the years. I'm trying to find a better matches to my overall page and the experience. So, you know. I think this is a far nicer match because it is really not giving the vibe of it's not f it it doesn't give us focus on the bubbles only it's a lovely match because it's a nice creamy color so it's not very much standing out I don't know I think over the years I have changed that because um I would always no I don't like that I would always go for white and look it is standing out but it's not sh screaming at us what a lovely tip I just came up with myself no seriously it's a milk white but it's not really white if you look at my white stuff you know it's it's, it's different so it's so any cream paint this one is the Stamperia milk white Cal 110 K, K A L um, 110 so I think it's nice that it's a little tip guys for you and for me it's so fun that with each video it feels that there's always something to learn like even adding the color the cream than the white to make this pretty yet not overwhelming now I don't know there's just because the cream s seems to be around the page as well a little bit so it just feels nice I hope you are making sense but I really feel I've changed over the years I started to think I didn't finish I think I'm changing as well when I look at my old projects of course I love them but I wouldn't necessarily <laughs> recreate them the same way I would change things possibly so I think it's interesting to see how we change how we you know develop our style but also our likings or maybe we just learn what's nice or nicer you know and I think this is the nicer thing I really love it I think the bubbles are delicate they really look bubbly -ishy. they're not overwhelming us and they're not overwhelming the project they are really and and because the two bubbles are behind the actual mushroom it is not as they are like it's still the first look is our girl and a mushroom and then the background is really like a second roll plate I hope that makes sense uh, honestly <laughs> I really do now um, how about adding a little bit of a little bit of doodles around I think just a little bit I'm trying not to touch where where the wetness is still of the I think I would like a little bit of doodles maybe just a little bit just a little bit mm -hmm. she's very cute I have to say she's lovely I love my gorgeous fairies I I'm so proud of them so many of you loves them same for me I just love them all each of them is so different they're very alike in the style because I sort of came up with the idea that I don't know I feel that it speaks a little bit that it's I think a lot of you can recognize it that it's it's Marta's style <laughs> that makes sense I don't know if that if it's true but I I sense that you know and I love that that you can I can feel it no that's a bit too much but I'm trying to one minute I'm sorry my nose is just not giving up you know on me and I had to pause excuse me for that honestly 
but over the years as well I, I know that you always have been saying to me it's okay Marta and I've I'm teaching you myself as well it's okay like life it's okay so uh, this pen that I love using it's actually check Hobby Vision because they have the pen or they will have the pen and also the clear gesso and something else I'm using oh the brushes the where are they they're not here they are oh they're here my favorite clear brushes from Studio Light Art by Merlin so check them out they are very good quality products that will really last you ages and Hobby Vision is shipping worldwide even though they in the Netherlands they are shipping worldwide now I'm just adding the, those touches do you know what it just, it just feels why not kind of way you know nothing more than just yeah I, I would love to add a little bit of that in places here and there here and there just to bring this all maybe standing out a tiny bit more something like that this is so cute she is divinely beautiful and cute love that I love it uh -huh. No. no super awesome okay a little bit of that black um oh that's so pretty i love that now of course as a final touch why not we do white splashes a tiny one because we don't want to white to overwhelm it oh no way this is really gone 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 uh, so I need to maybe add some water in this one, but I have a new bottle, of course I do. My favorite as well, Calligraphy Ink, Winsor & Newton. Someone said, Marta, finally I can do perfect splashes. Yes, for some reason, whatever ink they uh, have in this, it is really helping out to make the, the right good splashes. I know maybe that's silly, but it, it's true, it's, it's working, it's helping. Okay, I'm gonna cover her up a little bit. And I'm going to maybe cover up uh, this bit and let's do a little bit of splashes and see. It's going to be just more like a touches than anything, you know. Especially I'm going to focus my energy here on that mushroom because it's brighter, brighter colors. And yeah, I think I love that enough. Let's see when we pick it up. There we go. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, I think our five supply project is finished. Our page, quick and easy. I hope you liked this one and enjoyed it. Thank you so much. As always, I'm not too sure when I'll be back, how I'm gonna feel soon, tomorrow, today, <laughs> I don't know. But I'm gonna try to up upload this one ASAP so you can have a few minutes uh, with me. But for now, thank you so much. Pleasure to be in your homes. Mind yourself, your health and your loved ones. Um, if you haven't made a phone call to someone close to you in a while, just grab a phone now and do it. And I'm going to remind this to my husband actually to ring his dad just now. So if you, yeah, if you can, just do it. It takes only two seconds and it could be so important for someone. Have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Bye bye. One more thing actually. I think I could add, <laughs> yeah, some bit, there we go, some bit more on that, there we go, that's perfect, yes, I think so, much better, because it was too, too, too something there, and I'm gonna just try to see if I can clean it off this tiny bit, because it just feels it's a bit too much, hi Amy, just too much, so I'm gonna grab... Maybe, there we go. Okay, that's definitely it. Okay, let me show you. Bye for now.